And if, if, if you're not such a person, keep in mind that magic brings more of the self to bear than does mundane section. Magic makes both the direct results and, and the side effects more intense. Magic and mundane activity both deal with behavior, but magic also deals with the soul. Which is to say, if you are cheating on your, on your spouse, so be it. But don't use magic to help the infidelity along. By the way, everything here applies whether you're working to bring love into your own life or doing spells on behalf of someone, someone else. For the sake of its simplicity, I'll, I'll assume you're working to find, find love for yourself out from out, so from here on out. Love goals and love targets. As it's not that love spells are unethical, it's that certain premises for love spells are, are unethical, particularly those dependent upon unethical outcomes. Magic spells are an activity intended to achieve an outcome. That, that is, spells have goals. The more specific the goal, the more effective the spell. If your goal is unethical, your spell is unethical. I think we can all agree that finding love is a perfectly ethical goal. What, what's unacceptable is, is a goal like, I will be with so and so, when he, she, they wants to be with me or not. Often, the person performing such a spell will, will phrase it in a nicer sounding way. He and I belong together. He just doesn't realize it yet. Is typical, but such phrasing still disregards the consent of the other person. When we're besotted, and the basic truth about the truth that others get to choose whether or not to be with us is sometimes too painful to acknowledge. Surely the other person must be confused, deluded, in denial, but they have the, they have that choice, and we don't get to use magic to take away that choice. Thank you for another reading. Blessed be.